hi virgo welcome back i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be a reading for virgo sun moon rising venus and north node let's see what's going on for my lovely virgos okay please take what resonates and leave what does not and also remember to flip and switch the roles could be talking about someone else in your energy okay so i shuffled the sacred destiny deck and i pulled two cards for you guys so i pulled the first card is purity sagittarius had this could be dealing with the sag or have sag somewhere in your chart and then we have adventures bottom of the deck is embracing okay an opportunity okay so i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be embracing an opportunity here that's going to bring you pleasure okay you've never experienced maybe an opportunity like this before here um i feel like this is a new like a new path is opening up for you here the gateway is getting ready to open so you can go ahead in it okay um this is a like an adventure to you it's going to feel adventurous i feel like somebody is very spontaneous okay Okay, my bad. So, adventures, yeah. <clears throat> so, you guys are doing something. I feel like you guys are getting ready to do something new or maybe experience something that you haven't experienced here or, or you're learning how to open up to, to new things. So let's see what this is about. You're learning how to embrace the new and the unknown here as well. And I feel like this is something here that's pure. I feel like you've cleansed your energy of something. So, now you can... um embrace new so let's see what is going on for virgo clarify this message here for virgo okay yeah eight of pentacles mm. ten of swords behind that so let's see for virgo what is going on clarify this message for virgo okay eight of pentacles want to pop out clarify this message for virgo spirit that's why the bottom of the deck card is so important yeah, Justice could be dealing with the Libra. What else? Okay, Eight of Wands. One more. Okay, Page of Wands. Yeah, so definitely a new adventure. Some of you guys could be traveling more. Okay, or you're getting ready to travel and do something new. Like I said, you could be working on your finances and building your finances up here because you definitely have a goal here that you're trying to reach. I feel like balance is being restored in your life. Whatever was unjust is now going to be balanced out and made right here. The right people here are getting their bad karma or whatever but i feel like you are taking off here you're doing you could be doing something creative i feel like you could be getting um some uh maybe something in the mail from a, a court case that you're dealing with or something like that is going to set you free something is going to help you be, to become free it's going to help you move forward in something here but definitely good news communication coming in maybe from a fire sign or a libra or just this is just a court case you're you're going uh through that's going on but yeah let's see what else is happening definitely something that's long distance or traveling could be significant but you're definitely focused on your money as well your money is building it's growing you're trying to obtain skills for something maybe some of you guys could be trying to go into the legal system like be a paralegal or you could want to work for the justice system so let's see what else for virgo or you could already Okay, yeah, four of cups in reverse. I like four of cups in reverse. What else? Damn. So the Empress in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Temperance in reverse. Bottom of the deck, King of Cups. So you could be, yeah, somebody could be taking their baby mama or baby daddy to court right now. And I feel like you're going to be set free. <laughs> Whatever this is, you're definitely going to be set free here. And I feel like you're very hasty. You're very impatient with the temperance in reverse. But definitely whoever this is down here has been antagonizing you. They've been petty. They've been getting on your nerves. It could, could be involving a child. You're going to get news about a child here. Picking up a lot of shit with this. Yeah, but where you feel helpless, felt helpless or trapped or hurt or stuck, you're not anymore. But I feel like... Um, I feel like you're very excited about something with the temperance in reverse could be dealing with the sagittarius taurus libra here yeah you're you're very excited about something you're very hasty you're ready to do something here let's see what is this um for eight of pentacles right here the four of cups in reverse is definitely um moving away from stagnancy finally there's movement happening with something maybe your finances here where it was stuck there's finally movement happening. Okay, yeah, three of pentacles. So a partnership here. You could be networking with other people here. 
or these could be lawyers and shit you have really good lawyers and shit like that to help you but i feel like there's a contract here or something that you are breaking free from you're going towards something else or this is just a project here where you have to network with other people and collab with other people to get this done what is this eight of pentacles some of you guys will be seeing 888 yeah page of pentacles yeah there's something here that you're working on that you plant the seeds for that's growing like quick fast or will be it will be taking off really really quick for some of you guys you're definitely in school you're studying something okay but definitely something about your finances you're getting good news about yeah it could be something that you were doing from your past or this is somebody from your past is offering you something they're working really really hard to give you this offer or give you this gift yeah look six cups wanted to come out so wow yeah, the chariot, two of cups. Yeah, somebody's in love with you, Virgo. Aw. <laughs> this is so sweet. So, yeah, somebody's thinking about you. Somebody is literally working hard to give you this, okay? They are. They're in love with you. Or this could be you. Maybe both of y'all have Virgo in your chart. But, yeah, this person is definitely, there's something moving now. There's something that's been shifted or there's a change here that's been made. But somebody, you and somebody have a lot of good memories together. This person is thinking about you and they're definitely, yeah, they wanted to come give you a gift. That's what the Six of Cups is too. On the uh, normal tarot deck where you see somebody handing somebody flowers or something like that. Yeah, this is so nice. <laughs> what's the justice for Virgo? Okay, Ten of Wands. Yeah, what's the justice for Virgo? Yep, Wheel of Fortune. Things turning out in your favor. Yeah, where there, I feel like where there was a lot of responsibility or a lot of things carrying you down or what was burdening you, I feel like that's going to be over. That's shifting. Something is definitely shifting. I feel like somebody's baby mama is definitely a fucking burden. Or somebody's baby daddy is a burden. You don't want to be bothered with their ass. It's over. It's done with. Or whoever. It could be a mother figure. Whoever. Flip it. Switch it. But somebody somebody was doing too much or overdoing something for it. Somebody here that was in reverse. This is a karmic energy here with the empress in reverse. Somebody that has low self-esteem. They're insecure. They're very childish here. And this person could be petty. Very much petty when it comes down to your child. And I feel like that's coming to an end or something here is shifting because it's supposed to with the Wheel of Fortune. Something here is working out in your favor. Definitely karma is at play when it comes down to this person and whatever they try to do. Yep. Yeah. yeah, what's this Eight of Wands for Virgo? Okay, Queen of Cups in reverse. Hmm. What's this Eight of Wands with this Queen of Cups in reverse? the magician in reverse wow somebody's breaking free from a spell here some magic that was being done with the eight of swords in reverse somebody's mind has been fucked with a lot somebody's doing spell work <laughs> but somebody's eight of swords in reverse is not touching someone so there could be what i'm what i'm saying like um what i'm visualizing here is this is a uh for some of you i'm picturing yeah a masculine yeah, I'm picturing a masculine, right? King of Cups, now we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So this is a masculine energy dealing with maybe two or more feminines here. This feminine could be this baby mother, and this other feminine could be this person's, this karmic's mother. Or whoever the fuck that's in the mix here when it comes down to this child, it's the grandma and the mother. Both of their dumbass. This is somebody that's doing spell work here. Somebody's using their intuition for the wrong things. The Queen of Cups is a psychic, but when they're in reverse, they could be dark. This person is very vindictive. They're very spiteful. And they're very much so needy. They're clingy. Okay, so this is somebody that's trying to hold on to somebody for their finances, their money, or whatever this is. But they're getting karma. But this person is definitely doing spell work or they're, they're doing something here. With the magician in reverse. Could be a Virgo or Gemini. Or this is, you know, another Virgo or Gemini that's going through this. Or this Queen of Cups could be one. Whatever. But definitely somebody is escaping whatever this is. This, this, this shit is backfiring. It's not working. Who is this Queen of Cups right here in reverse? All these hoes want to be in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, because they're money hungry. This person is money hungry. This person is investing in spell work or doing something here to, to, to your finances. <clears throat> they could be doing something to you here to get you to look dumb in a court case or to get you to say the wrong thing or do something here to fucking turn shit out and turn shit in their favor in court. They could even be doing spell work on the damn judicial system. <laughs> I don't know how that's working, but they're trying to do something to manipulate the justice system or whatever that's going on here in court. But the seven of pentacles in reverse, 
they're losing money okay this person is losing money or they're going to somebody here invested wrong and in whoever this idiot is hmm this person could have tried to scam you here Yeah, they did something with your finances. And I feel like, yeah, they're causing setbacks and delays and shit. Like, they're trying to postpone something here with your money. Um, I feel like you you kind of like... <sighs> you kind of like um, was really like trying to uh, postpone taking this person to court or whatever. But this person is on some weird shit. They are. They're trying to cause you cash flow problems. They're, they're trying to cause you setbacks and, and things to be postponed here. They're trying to postpone a fucking court situation. What is this page of wands? But something is taken off for you anyway. Like, yeah. Six of pentacles here. You could probably be having to pay out. I feel like this person, if this is them, they're having to pay for a child that they don't want to pay for. They don't want to have to pay out anything. Yeah, something is over. Yeah, judgment in reverse. <coughs> <coughs> you could be dealing with a Scorpio here. With the judgment in reverse. Sorry, y'all. <coughs> My allergies acting up. But yeah, something about a child is going to go in your favor. Okay. Um, yeah, they're having to pay out something. They're having to pay for a child. <coughs> or somebody is. Or balance is going to be restored with you and your child. You're going to be able to see your child, be with your child. You might even be having custody of your child because this person <coughs> is doing this loser ass shit. And they're trying to... I know my fucking throat chakra is fucking up because of allergies. But they <coughs> definitely don't want me to say... What the fuck needs to be said here in this reading? But what's this page of wands with the six of pentacles? <clears throat> you guys can be seeing six, six. <coughs> That's Virgo energy, number 12. I mean, you know that I lied. What's number 12? I forgot what number 12 is. But yeah, the emperor. So like I said, <coughs> excuse me. This could be an Aries here, or this could just be your masculine here going through this court situa situation. They're taking back control over this here. This could be a father. Yeah, the emperor upright <coughs> is a father. <coughs> this person is a father here. And I feel like they're having to pay out money for a child. Yeah, guys, my bad. I had to <coughs> get my shit together. I think this is like the second reading that's happened on. I can't wait until the shit pass. These fucking allergies and my throat is just, I don't know. <clears throat> but so yeah, this this is a masculine here that has been trying to break free from this shit for a long time, right? And I feel like this masculine, this whoever this baby mama is or whoever the fuck this is, has been very much so being petty and not letting this masculine see their child and they've been lying, saying that, they haven't been doing the shit that they need to do for their child and they're a liar because this, mas this masculine have receipts. But I feel like this masculine has really uh, <clears throat> have really been trying to do the right thing, right? By keeping this family together, number one, when they should have just been leaving this person out in the cold and taking their child and doing what they got to do because this person is unfit to be a parent <clears throat> any goddamn way. But if something is turning around in this masculine's favor, they're going to be paid. They're going to receive support for their child here. Where this person don't want to pay out. Somebody here doesn't want to pay out money. They're trying to cause delays in the situation. They don't want to pay out something. It's fucking ridiculous. What's this four of cups right here in reverse? <laughs> so we can move on. Yeah, the six of swords. So we, I, I just realized we have the empress in reverse with the emperor. So this is definitely somebody, some feminine here. That's trying to hurt a masculine when it comes down to their child. <clears throat> okay. And I also feel like this masculine has been procrastinated about taking this person to court because Lord knows what they would do because they already do spell work, <clears throat> just period. But yeah, the Six of Swords now is upright with the Four Cups in reverse. That's movement. That's coming out of stagnation, moving to calmer waters, a peaceful resolution here to whatever this is. And what's this Four of Cups with the Six of Swords? Four Cups in reverse, excuse me, with the Six of Swords. Look, Queen of Swords. Somebody is bitter. 
there are people here that's bitter. The Empress in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. Either this person has <clears throat> multiple personalities. Yeah, look, the Devil, the Ten of Cups. This is multiple people in somebody's family here. This is a whole family working against one masculine. <clears throat> that's what this is. There's people, th this is crazy. This is crazy. The Queen of Swords in reverse is a liar, a con. They're very bitter. <laughs> this person spreads rumors. They gossip maliciously here. So it's it's multiple people here. With all these women in reverse, it, it's a woman. There's there's multiple people here doing this. Could be friends, family. Could even be men. But when I see queens in reverse or even men in reverse, I know it's a man or a woman. That's how that's how I tell. That's how I read tarot sometimes, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you could tell, kind of like for me anyway, who's innocent here. In a situation, I feel like it's a masculine energy that is. For some of you, it is. For some of you, it's not flipping switchy. <clears throat> I'm just calling what I see. <clears throat> All these fucking queens in reverse. These hoes are mad. They're mad. They are. Who's this Empress in reverse? <clears throat> yeah, the moon in reverse. The secret is coming out about their ass. The secret is coming out about their ass. It could have cancer in their chart, or this could be a cancer. What's this Empress in reverse with the moon in reverse? <clears throat> this person, if they were trying to block your person's intuition or yours, their shit is going to be blocked now. <clears throat> Definitely trying to block my throat chakra. Like, I know I'm fucked up, but damn. What's the Empress in reverse with the moon in reverse? <clears throat> yeah, the high priestess. Look, didn't I say that? This person here has been hiding something. Very sinister, I feel. Because they, they've been doing spell work, this person. This person does spell work here. They're definitely trying to use their intuition. <clears throat> this person could be trying to use sex here with the high priestess. Because they talk about sensuality, sexuality here. <clears throat> to keep somebody stuck or trapped. They could be doing moon work here. But this person... Is trying to cause a blocked intuition. They're using, yeah, this person is doing spell work here. What's this moon right here in reverse? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, the chariot, the chariot upright, cancer energy. Somebody's moving on. Somebody, whatever this person has tried to do is, has not worked. If anything, it's backfiring. If anything, is going to backfire because karma is here twice. The will and the damn justice is going to backfire. <clears throat> it's definitely going to backfire. What's this high priestess? Yeah, the Three of Cups. Yeah, Two of Swords. They could be people that this person is working with to cause this here. This person is a dark witch. <clears throat> they are. This person is very dark. Something about them is very dark. Yeah, this is a nasty ass hoe. And they're a liar. They're a cheater. They're a con. And your person is realizing that shit. That's why they get in custody of this child. What's this Eight of Swords right here in reverse? <clears throat> yeah, there's friends and family in on this shit. With the High Priestess and the Three of Cups, this person is working amongst people. There's a lot of people involved here, I feel. And your person is moving on. They're listening to their intuition and they're coming towards you for a reconciliation. And your person, uh, this third party knows this here. The secret has came out about their ass. That's what they get. What's the Eight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, being set free. What's the Eight of Swords in reverse with the Knight of Wands? <clears throat> yeah, the Fool in reverse. So, you know, the Fool, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody here is not feeling powerless or hopeless anymore. Okay, they're really looking back at their decisions. Like, look at my dumbass. I made a foolish mistake with the fool in reverse. This is somebody here. The fool in reverse is somebody being petty. They're being annoying. They're being... This is somebody also that's very much so negligent towards their children. With the fool in reverse, somebody is negligent. That's what this talks about. <clears throat> when it comes down to kids and this spread, somebody is damn sure negligent. And they're using magic. They're, they're using like glamour spells and shit like that so people won't see who they are. People are going to see, yes, yeah, seven of cups, it's sun. Something is going to be exposed about whatever these illusions and confusions is. What is this uh, Knight of Wands? You might a fucking loser, especially, yeah, the death card. It's over with. For this person, 
<coughs> there's something y'all i don't know if it's like mucus stuck in my throat i don't know but i'm not starting this reading over i'm not this message is getting out today <clears throat> so excuse the clearing of the throat but whoever's trying to like come in and interrupt here bitch no i'm not doing this reading over if anything i'm going to go in and take these parts out <clears throat> but somebody here could be a scorpio here There's an ending being put to this Knight of Wands energy. Whoever the fuck this is. Somebody's escaping this person. What's the fool in reverse? Yeah, Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody, bro. Somebody is a fucking thief. They're a liar. They're a loser. Somebody's just pathetic. Somebody's just sneaky. They, they are con. They just do all type of shit here. <clears throat> that they can do to hurt somebody else. This person here has lied maybe on your person because you were supposed to be going towards a new beginning a long fucking time ago. But I feel like something had to be worked out here before you could do this. <clears throat> because like this, this temperance is in reverse. It's been a lot of fucking imbalanced bullshit here with somebody's life. Your person had to deal with this person. And I feel like they avoided it for a long time. <clears throat> but with the fool in reverse here, this person has been lying about somebody not being not taking care of a child or not doing their part. And your person has receipts or they've been saving shit up to take to, to court to, to give for evidence here. But this 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 uh person here that's doing this magic here is trying to stop your person from going towards a new beginning. <clears throat> your, this person has been trying to instill fear in your person and everything else. They've been doing a lot of sneaky shit behind the scenes. Pathetic. What's this temperance in reverse? Yeah, eight of swords. What's this temperance in reverse with the eight of swords? <clears throat> Yeah, four of pentacles. Yeah, this person here in reverse, this person is being forced to let go of your person here. The, the spirit spirit is literally in on this, whatever this is, because karma is here. I feel like it's backfiring. Where the eight of swords is in reverse here with your person, and they're being set free here, and they're ending whatever this is. <clears throat> this person back here is getting karma. Your person, I don't know, they might have to pay, Just they probably put themselves on child support just so this person can get the fuck on. Whatever, but... I know for sure your person is being gifted here by the universe. Things are balancing out for your person, money-wise. Whoever this emperor is, could be an Aries, or it could just be a person. Whoever the divine masculine, whatever. But yeah, <clears throat> this um, four principles in reverse is releasing control, letting go, surrendering here. But I feel like somebody's being haunted and they're being antagonized here with the Eight of Swords, the Temperance in Reverse. They are losing protection. They've lost their fucking spiritual gifts because they abused it. What is this uh, Eight of Swords right here with the Temperance in Reverse? This person is definitely imbalanced. They have a mental disorder. That's what this is giving me. What's the Temperance in Reverse with the Eight of Swords? <clears throat> yeah, Knight of Swords. They're pissed. Look, this person is pissed. They're causing tower moments here. They're causing chaos, confusion, disruption. Okay. Just period. Because they're they're having to pay out something. <laughs> yeah, four principles in reverse. They're upset because they have to pay out something. They're mad as fuck. They're mad. They're having to pay out a lot of fucking money. What's the four principles in reverse? Because they probably stole it. <clears throat> four principles in reverse. Yeah, eight of cups. Yeah, and you're walking away. Yep, ace of swords. Yeah, there's a victory in court here. It's, it's coming as a tire moment. You're going to be set free. You're going to be able to plan accordingly here. Yeah, a victory. Literally, this is talking about somebody's getting a victory in court for a child or money. That's what this is. Yeah, they're mad as fuck. They have to pay out something here. And you're going to be able to walk away with your pride and your dignity all intact and your integrity and your morals and you're moving on. Just period. This person is going to be forced to walk away to, to get themselves together. They're going to need to rediscover themselves because they're a fucking loser right now. <laughs> and some karmics don't get their shit together. They just stay stuck in this loser-ass energy for life. That's all they're here for is to show people lessons. <clears throat> and that's it. Unless they get their shit together. I mean, karmics have a choice just like anybody else. So, yeah, but this family, they mad as fuck. Whoever this is and this baby mama, they're mad as shit. They're mad. They're pissed. They are mad as fuck. And that's what they dumbass get. No remorse, no sympathy, no empathy for them at all. What's the potential outcome <clears throat> for this Fred for Virgo? Yeah, Queen of Cups. <laughs> so, this person could have been trying to mimic you here, Virgo. 
Yeah, they're not the real Queen of Cups. It's you. What else? Or, or a Queen of Cups could be coming into your life, the real one. <laughs> what else here? Because this person is emotionally manipulative. They're a con here. <clears throat> and they're emotionally immature. What's the potential outcome for Virgo with the Queen of Cups? Five of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they're getting karma. Bottom of the deck, the Magician Upright. Hmm, that's funny. Queen of Cups in reverse and the Magician in reverse is here, but they're upright in the end. <clears throat> Let me see. Who's this Queen of Cups right here in the in the uh, potential outcome? Who's this Queen of Cups in a potential outcome? Yeah, justice. Like I said, you're the the real Queen of Cups here. Somebody was misconstrued, most definitely. Your person was. Could be an Aquarius. Yeah, your person didn't know who the real Queen of Cups was. It's because this person was doing spell work. They were doing spell work here. And justice is going to be served. It's you actually getting your person here, Virgo. You actually going towards the real Divine Feminine, the real counterpart here. Because somebody was definitely not. Somebody was a fucking fool. What's this Five of Swords right here for the potential outcome? Yeah, the devil. This person is still going to be... <clears throat> excuse me. They're still going to be trying to fucking play mind games in here and manipulate shit. <clears throat> they are. For the longest fucking time, this person is not going to learn their lesson. This person has an issue. With the, uh, you could be dealing with the Capricorn. Five of Swords and the Devil. Somebody here wants to win something at all costs. This person is jealous of your person here, Virgo. They're very much so jealous. They're a weirdo. They're a weirdo here. They're definitely a fucking weirdo. They're a loser. They're a con. They're just... They're just bitch made. Somebody is somebody somebody in their fucking parents. They just they're just a fucking bitch. All of them. Every last one of them. Whoever was in on this shit, they're a bitch. And I feel like they're about to get treated as such. So let's get what the T is. Let's pull some of the T cards. For Virgo spirit. Yeah, underlying health issues, undiag undiagnosed and unidentified. Yeah, because this person is a fucking... They, they've been hiding this shit. They've been doing spell work to hide this shit here. People think that they're, oh, they're so sweet and they don't mean no harm. Bitch, they're the harmfulest person you could ever meet. Somebody is definitely harmful. They're dangerous and they're toxic. So let's see. What is... Uh, what else? <clears throat> bottom of the deck is love affair intense and unlikely so yeah this person that maybe this your person had a love affair with this person or they went they left you to go back to this fucking uh deranged motherfucker <laughs> and that shit didn't last long because this person truly found out that this person was fucking crazy i feel like your person had to go back because they needed to see this for themselves they have to deal with this person forever unless this person is getting locked up they have to deal with this person forever because they got kids with them what else yeah escapism running running away from their problems yeah that's what your person has been trying to do here run away but they needed to really deal with this shit it's been and this is why because it's been i feel like your person has tried to escape because they've been trying to fucking um because they um this shit has been going on for a while now and they knew that it was going to take years to fucking finish this shit could have been taking years but the longer they fucking try to escape, the worse it's gotten. It says mechanical, thinking logically and without emotion. Okay. So yeah, you can't you can't think emotionally with these people because they ain't sure anything about that with your ass. They in it for the money and whatever else. Your person here could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, yeah. What else? Somebody here could work in the mechanical field or be a mechanic. Reject it. Can't sit with us, yeah. Somebody's being rejected. <laughs> they ass is being crossed out by bitch. What else? Yeah, excess excess baggage. The past is weighing them down. Yeah, this is what they needed to fucking deal with. This is why their heart has been locked up and closed off towards you because they needed to deal with this shit. I feel like your person is really a good person, but this past trauma is really, they need to clear this shit out and it's, it's playing out right now. What else? Endanger to themselves, put in harm's way. Yeah, somebody's fucking. Somebody likes. This is the type of person that says they're gonna they're gonna kill themselves, or they're gonna kill the children, or they're gonna kill the whole family if you don't do yada yada yada. They're fucking crazy. What else? Okay. 
extraterrestrial out of this world so something here is very mystical here somebody could be finding out that they're a star seed as well yeah somebody's finding out that they're a star i'm getting aquarius energy with this like uh this this the spaceship here whatever the fuck this shit is this is an alien ship what do you call the alien ships what is this shit they be? that's a spaceship ain't it or not i don't know what the fuck that shit is when they what is this <laughs> this is like aliens coming out of a uh whatever somebody is very different here somebody's very unique okay what else It says gaslighting, psychological manipulation. <clears throat> yeah. What else for Virgo? YOLO. You only live once. Yeah, that's that full energy. Aquarius energy again. <laughs> no lie. Somebody here could be an Aquarius. What else? Running back to you. You're loyal. They're not. <laughs> so this person, this person here is coming back to you. Okay. And I feel like uh, they are. They are, but they just weren't, wasn't loyal to your ass in this. I feel like this is supposed to happen for a reason. It's happened for a reason. They ran back because they fucking, they needed to get this shit fixed anyway before they came to you or or, or else y'all's relationship was going to be in fucking shambles. You wouldn't have made it. If this person didn't go back to clear off, clear this shit out, now they could have did it in a different way. You know what I'm saying? They could have did it differently. They could have told you, like they could have talked to you, but they didn't. They handled it in a different way. So that's why you think they ass ain't loyal or you think they really not fucking with you for real. <laughs> what else? I'm dead. Self-pleasure. Self-satisfying instantly. Okay. Then we have overindulgence. Too much, too fast. <laughs> so this person... This person could be could be masturbating to you here, uh, Virgo. They think about you all the time. <laughs> this person does it a lot. <laughs> this person could get drunk and just like think about you here. Somebody's nasty. What else? Let's go, Virgo. Yeah, cutting ties, expire and discontinue use. It says snatched, extremely too hot to handle. Yeah, somebody thinks you're hot here. You're snatched. <laughs> you're everything to this person they couldn't tie with their past they're like fuck this evil ass hoe this bitch doing dark magic and everything on my finances let me get my kid and roll out <laughs> ah, yeah blocking finances thank you spirit look inability to see the bigger picture i think aquarius did have that taking action finally doing something about it yeah bottom of the deck is poaching trespassing by any means here yeah so this is third party <clears throat> I feel like this person coming coming towards you by any means necessary. They're not they're not thinking about what you say. They know that you don't fuck with them, but they coming anyway because they have some explaining to do. But yeah, this person's finances have been blocked. That's been what the holdup is. <laughs> That's been what the holdup is. It's bad finance uh, finances. So what else? Uh, let's get two cards here for Virgo. <laughs> Somebody's fucking insane. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is trusted ally. It says your person has your back. You can trust what they say to you and about you when you're not present. This is someone you can tell everything to and trust that they will keep your secret safe. You can be yourself. This is someone who will celebrate your victories and comfort you in your moments of loss. Yeah, and then we have taken action. So yeah, your person here. Um, I feel like Spirit is saying you can trust your person. They have, they're just. I feel like it's a misunderstanding. They need to talk to you. They really need to talk to you. We have guilty. <laughs> yeah, for right over the seven of swords. It says someone is guilty and truth is needed to come out. Ask questions, investigate. It is also important not to carry the burdens of someone else's actions. Do not take responsibility for something you didn't do. Yeah, this person here, this person is fighting something in court. Somebody set this person up. Somebody set your person up when it comes down to finances. And they're also taking somebody to court for a child here. <laughs> but someone set your person up here. They did. They really, really fucking did. It says, place blame only where it belongs. The pursuit of justice will help reveal the truth of the situation. Mistakes can be blessings. Yeah, living space. Something about a living space here. Somebody was, this is somebody that someone was living with. A hidden enemy right behind blessings here. So, so yeah, spirit guides behind hidden enemy. Third party influence. Yeah, so 
in innocence. Yeah, somebody here is innocent. So you're going to get news about this here that your person was innocent. Universal law. This talks about magic here. This is an omen of warning for those who have abused their position of power or who have violated the spiritual laws of magic. Yeah, this shit is backfiring on someone. Yeah, you're going to get news about this, about a third party influence. And your spirit guides are heavily protecting you and your person at this time from these hidden enemies because there are blessings coming in. For some of you, you're getting a new place. You're getting blessed with a new place here. Okay, but yeah, there's some bullshit. Definitely some bullshit that's going on. I feel like you should hear your person out here, Virgo. Just saying. Just saying. But anyways, this was your reading, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Sorry for all the coughing and the bullshit and the clearing of the throat. <laughs> okay, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your notification bell and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.